What is up guys? I did something yesterday, you probably already know by the thumbnail, but where are you at buddy? Tell what you do. Hey, no, don't play with your poop. This is a learning experience. <laughs> Come here, Max. Ah. Say hello to the people, buddy. Oh my gosh. This is Max, ladies and gentlemen. Max with two X's, named after the tuning himself. <laughs> I mean, not 100%, but definitely some inspiration there. But boy, he's a good boy. And this has le legit been a entire new thing for me. I grew up with a dog. Mm -hmm. Kisses? Oh my God, look at this. Look how precious this is. I grew up with a dog, but uh, I never really had to train one myself, you know? So we got a puppy, 11 weeks old. And he is just the most cutest little thing. Look at him. Look at him. Whee! So today, for the video, we are gonna play around with Max. I'm gonna talk about the dog. It's gonna be a puppy style vlog. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, meal prep for the puppy and show you some of the vitamins and minerals that a puppy needs to grow up heart healthy and strong. So if you guys are ready to get this show started, then as always, you know I am. Let's do it! So, Max is a Yorkie, mm -hmm. and he's very <laughs> adorable and loving. Look at this, look at this, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna get any work done with this puppy around, but hey, we're gonna make it happen. You know, I uh, wanted a dog forever, but um, never got around to doing it because I told myself I didn't have time. You know, I'm a huge animal lover. I've loved just being around dogs and dogs in general, even cats, like I just love furry little fluffy things. And this, uh, I don't know, I went to the pet store yesterday. My girlfriend is kind of to blame for this. She kind of uh, got attached to the dog, got me attached to the dog, and I went ahead and bought it. Not a lot of thought went into it. This is totally an impulse decision, but I am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. So here we are. But yeah, he's a Yorkie, little guy. Like I said, 11 weeks old. Mm. And yeah, by the way, if you guys have any puppy tips you wanna share or anything, cause we're working on the house breaking stuff right now and it's not going the best, <laughs> but he's still less than a day old, so. Oh, I mean, a, a, day, a day old in the house. Hey, no ear biting. And we gotta fix that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they gave me like a puppy resource kit and in here they have a ton of information, including a DVD that I'm definitely not gonna watch. <laughs> There's a 99% chance I will never watch that DVD, but it's got a ton of puppy training instructions, but I'm the type of guy, I think we're just gonna wing it. What are you doing? What are you getting into down here? Are you peeing? No? Okay, we're good. We're good. False alarm. Gotta keep an eye on these clever buggers. They wanna use the restroom all over the place. Oh, good boy. I don't know, what, are you eating something under there? Let's let, let, let's get out of there. What's under there? Ew, it looks like something spilled. Yeah, you probably don't need to be licking that. Or maybe you do. Build up a strong immune system. Who knows? We're winging it, guys. We're gonna have a wait and see approach. Lap it up. So today, we're gonna be doing some puppy meal prep. Here, get out of the way, Max. We got some important stuff to do here. You need to pay attention too if you're gonna grow up to be a big, strong boy. All right, we got three meal prep containers here. The primary bulk of our nutrition and protein is gonna come from this Heartland Naturals. It is a chicken, rice, and oatmeal recipe. Hey, chicken, rice, and oatmeal, Max, huh? Huh? You're getting spoiled here. No corn, wheat, or soy. Oh, it's gluten free for you too, buddy. Look at that. Get, get out of the bowl. Get you. I know you want to help. I know you're anxious to help, but we have to show these people how to properly meal prep for a new pup. So we're gonna go ahead. We need our food scale. You, you can't get in the bowls, Max. That's not gonna work. All right, we got a food scale here. We're gonna weigh out four ounces of kibble. Woo, okay, you can't step on the scale either, big dog. Well, little dog. Oh, how appropriate. The big dog got a little dog. We'll take the Heartland Naturals. We're gonna go ahead and weigh out about 112 grams. No, no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, he weighs 422 grams. Here, Max, don't worry. This is gonna turn out great. No, but Max, Max. Okay, here we go. Let's, this is gonna be a chore. All meal prep videos in the future. Woo! All right, big dog, gotta chill. Gotta chill. All right, we're gonna weigh out 112 grams. <laughs> All right, we are at, bingo, 112 on the dot. Perfect. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, we have this, woo! We're just making a mess. All right, now what we're gonna do here, here we go, Max. They need to see this. 
Move you over here. We got ourselves some savory salmon recipe, mini natural treats, uh, healthy, moist, miniature dog treats made of salmon. That dog looked happy. That partly influenced my purchasing decision, but less than three calories per treat, seasonings and whole foods, great for training. So we're gonna go ahead, give him a couple of these, that way he has a little treat. Okay, we're gonna throw, we're, we're gonna, the three calories a piece, so we'll, we'll do about five for 15. Put him in that other little, uh, little thing here. Boom, and there you have it, guys. We have successfully meal prepped one day out for our pup. Mmm, look at that. How are those treats? How are those treats? Rate it. Does it get the double seal? Triple seal? I think Max says, whoop. Double seal of approval. <laughs> now, some of you guys might be like, my dog doesn't like to just eat plain kibble. Well, you're in luck. We found a nice tasting skin and coat omega-3 supplement that we can just take right here and just put right on top here. Add a nice flavoring, minimal calories, but they're getting healthy fats and it promotes skin and coat vibrance. So that way you'll have no trouble finding yourself a lady, huh? Hey, what you doing down here? Here. Oh, Joe, go, go. Get in there. See how much he loves it. Loves it. Mmm. Yeah, lick it up. And then to add even more flavor, we're gonna throw in some longevity drops. Increases resistance to stress and low blood sugar. Didn't realize either one of those were an issue for a dog. What's he have to be stressed about? The kibble market is rising. The value of puppy chow has dropped seven points. So we'll go ahead and take this, sprinkle it on as well. This has like a syrup consistency. You see that right there? Boom. Adds a nice, rich flavor to it, ensuring he gets all his micronutrients and everything he needs to be a healthy pup. Ain't that right, Max? Ain't that right, Max? Now that you guys know the basics of some pumpy meal prep, we have the supplementation that is just as crucial here. We got some joint mobility. They talked me into all this junk in there. I must be really gullible. But it's made with human grade FDA inspected ingredients. Um, great for growing puppies and adult dogs. Hey, we're gonna try to get you to be 10 feet tall, buddy. So we got some joint mobility here. You like that? He appreciates a good supplement. He knows a good sup when he sees one. He don't get this big by not following a strict dietary regimen. And then we got the lifetime vitamin. Vitamins. America's number one lifetime vitamins. I'm not even sure I'm supposed to give these to you. You just gonna eat them? Yeah, let's give them a vitamin right now, live on camera. Maybe I gotta hide it in cheese or something like that. I'm new to this whole dog thing, guys. I'm winging it. Here, Max, let's get you a vitamin. These are good. I might start taking them. Oh, you don't wanna eat this. Let's see if he eats it. God, it smells like a multi. All right, here you go. You want one? Want one? Hey, bud. Woo! You want that? He doesn't want that at all. How do you expect this little dog to eat that big wafer looking thing. This looks like the size of a, a spree or a shock tart. You guys remember shock tarts? God, those are the best candy ever. All right, you don't want these. Well, we're gonna figure out a way for you to eat them. Maybe I gotta crush them up. No. Oh, he likes the plastic more than he likes the actual container. Get your snout down in there. Don't get your snout stuck. I've lost many a relative that got their snout stuck. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> this is what he wants to do. Instead of using the bathroom, he wants to chase me around. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. You ain't gonna get me. You ain't gonna get me. <laughs> He's a good boy. Oh, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> all right, all right, we'll take a little break. Take a little break. Daddy hasn't been doing cardio recently. Good boy, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he just hit his head on the camera. Let's find a rabbit for you to attack. Is there any rabbits nearby, bud? You know where there's any good rabbit? Nope, not my foot. <laughs> Is there any good rabbits nearby? Oh, man. Let's see that belly. Show them that belly. Show them that belly. They want to see the belly. <laughs> Good boy. Look at that belly. Oh, Good boy. Good boy. All right, I don't think you're interested in using the restroom. I don't think you even care, do you? You just want to play. All right, let's go back inside. All right, you guys want to see his living accommodations? Check out what we're working with here. So we got ourselves a little crate. He's only in this if I'm gone for now. I don't want to keep him in this forever, but while he's not trained, there's so many wires and everything, drones and laptops and cameras that he could get into. So we decided to get him a little fluffy bed in here. Look at that, look at that. He doesn't like it in there, does he? Not a big fan, is he? <laughs> And then uh, we got him also a little squirrel here because you know what they say about a flying squirrel in the same way that a dog is a man's best friend a flying squirrel is a puppy's best friend. Look at that. Get that tail. Get that tail. Tail, 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 tail. Attack him. Attack. Grudge match. So yeah, got him in here. Any advice you guys have on maybe um, making this a little easier on him? 
or making the whole potty training thing easier. Any advice you guys have, I'll take it. Like I said, I'm new to this entire thing. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Just don't poop. Just don't poop. That's the hardest part, man. You're just like hanging out and then you smell something and he either farted or he pooped. Story of my life. Mix, mix. Oh, get up here on daddy's lap. Woo, get on daddy's lap. Don't be a stranger now. Don't be a stranger now. <laughs> God, he's such a good boy. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Gotta be careful with this one. He's an attack dog. Let's see if he plays fetch. Max, go. Yes, bring it back, bring it back, come on, bring it back. All right, we're working on it, people. It's a work in progress. You're never good at anything the first time, Max. Don't listen to the haters. Keep doing you, keep doing you. God, he's so ferocious. I know people told me pit bulls are what you have to worry about, but I really think these Yorkies are sleeping monsters. Here, we're gonna sneak up on him, Steve Irwin style here. Get up into him in his natural habitat, being careful not to spook him. Ooh. Oh, 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 that was so close. Oh. Oh, the way he mauls it, ripping and tearing. Gosh, it's like something out of a child's horror book. Don't do it to him, that's supposed to be your friend. He's literally gutting it right now. Oh, let's get a close in look. Let's get a close in look. Oh my gosh. Oh, the carnage. <laughs> oh man, this is just too adorable. This is just too adorable. Mmm, good boy. He is definitely not big enough to go upstairs by himself, so I gotta mm, pick him up and take him upstairs and downstairs. Get a look at that cute face. Look into the lens and wave, big dog. Hi, hi. It's the best you're gonna get. So, <laughs> heading up here, there we go. Put him down. Perfect. Come on, pup. Let's get into the office. Super secret combat. Hey, and uh, you can't see that where I keep all the business stuff. There we go into the old office. Hey Max, come up here. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is essentially how I did all my work this morning, all my meal plans, all my client check-ins, shipped some apparel, printed all the labels off, I had him just sitting here right on my lap like this, like a good boy, oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I know that this video is uh, pretty short in length, at least I think it's gonna be, and uh, might not provide a ton of value for you guys, but I asked you guys on social media what you wanted to see, and some people wanted to see my new dog, so I figured, hey, why not make a, a dog video with a little bit of meal prep tips in there? FYI, none of that was serious. Not a single bit of that was serious, so uh, don't really start weighing out 112 grams of kibble and putting in containers. I mean, you can, but uh, that was all for uh, showmanship, I guess. All for show. Oh my gosh. Get another quick look at the puppy. There you go. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I am pretty stoked. I've wanted a dog forever. I finally got one and uh, I love him to death. Come here, Max. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> it's my boy right here. It's my boy. So, uh, yeah, I know we have a long road ahead of us, potty training, and I'm gonna have to figure out ways to still film while keeping him in the loop and not neglecting him. So we got a little bit of a road ahead of us, but I think uh, everything will work out just fine, right? I believe everything happens for a reason, so. And a quick little PSA, those of you that are in Ohio, there is a meetup in Middletown, Ohio at Power Shack Gym. I could be totally wrong. Uh, details are on my Instagram, I'm gonna be posting about it. I'll probably do a video about that right before the event, but it's Saturday, I wanna say noon to four in Middletown, Ohio. So Mark Lobliner, Chris Jones, Nick Bear, lots of people are gonna be there, as well as yours truly, and I'm bringing Team Dry Scoop along with me, so it'll be a good time. I'd love to see you guys there, I'd love to meet some of you guys if you're in the area. Swing by, check it out. I donated $500 to the charity, it's a good cause, so if you wanna donate, even a dollar helps. So thank you guys so very much. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Say goodbye to Max, and as always, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better with. That, I am out here. This has been a Remington James production, and I will see you fine, ladies and gentlemen, at the next video. Oh my goodness. See you guys.